Beth is going to talk to us about the state of BSPs, and anyone who was at the developer meeting in Milan knows that BSPs are a very sensitive subject in this community. <laughs> and we are actively looking for ideas how we can bring in the board support package providers and come up with something that is more usable for all of us. And I think it will start with very one. So, so um, a few things before I start. This is essentially just going to be 20 minutes of me complaining um, with about five minutes of me having solutions. Um, so the first thing, warning, the following examples are from currently existing BSPs in use today. While the examples given are generally bad things to do, trademark, this talk should not be, be taken as a reflection on the authors, the companies, or the hardware involved. If, <laughs> If BSPs you have written or currently maintained do any of the following, this is not a personal reflection on you or your skills as a developer. Remember, sometimes people just need to do their get their jobs done and push out less than seller code, aka shit. Um, <laughs> perfect is the enemy of good enough. As always, if you see something that looks broken, patches welcome. No SOCs were harmed in the making of these slides. <laughs> um, second. Second, an apology, and I know some of these people are in the room, apologies to ADI in advance. Seriously, I really do like you guys. I just end up working with your board, so I see a lot of the ugly. Um, on a slightly more serious note, um, this talk could not have really taken place without the work of someone who we lost last week, Scott Reifenbark, who did a lot of the documentation on the Yocto project. So, you know, thank you, Scott, for all the work that you've done, and we miss you. Um, BSPs are a mixed bag. I see a lot of BSPs at work, uh, a lot of vendor BSPs, a lot of community BSPs, and there are some really good examples, um, Meta Raspberry Pi, Meta Virtualization, Meta Security, and we're not here to talk about them. Um, if you want to learn how to uh, do a BSP, go read the BSP Developer's Guide. Um, we're going to talk about the crap. And some of it's honestly not so crap, and there's actually some examples of my crap in here. So, the BSDB developer guide on how not to make a mess of it. And we should all be following this, but there's a problem with it. Standards are great, everyone has their own, and we don't have a standard. Standards are only standards if there is enforcement. So if you look at the Yocto Project compatible um, badge, a minimal levered level of standardization, and we are not seeing that. Part of this is because there's a lot of self-certification around this. Um, so if you take a look at the Yocto Project compatible, uh, uh, how to do this, number 12, BSP layer, layer follows the format defined by the Yocto Project board support package developer guides. Who have seen things on layers.openembedded.org that is not following the board support guidelines. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hardware support, configuration, distro policy, and recipe metadata are separated into different layers which do not depend on each other. Can we hold the laughter in on this one? Because I have examples that did not take a long time for me to find where this is absolutely violated. And then number 16, which I read this and started laughing hysterically, everything builds successfully with the standard tool chain from OE Core, where, where the architecture is one supported by OE Core as standard. This to ensure that your layers are compatible with OE Core. Yeah. So things we've all seen, mixed machine distro layers. Uh, who's seen a distro and the machine layer all smashed together? Binary blobs in a layer. Um, when there is no reason to have a binary blob in the layer. I have an example of this later. Tool chain specific layers. So yes, you can build this layer, but you have to use our special, special tool chain to do this. Uh, I've seen some very creative ways of distributing the BSP, like on a VM image, because our BSP is based on a Yocto project uh, uh, release that begins with D, Danny Denzel, Dora, Dana. Like, I was a release engineer for the Yocto project, and I still don't remember which ones are which. Um, or let's wrap everything and then not document it and not give you a way to 
not use that way. Um, sometimes this is needed. Um, we do this in Oryx Embedded Linux. There's a really good reason why we do it. Um, Meta uh, Boot to QT annoys the living daylights out of me because they have this one <laughs> script that kind of wraps OE init build env and then it's not really documented and there's not real a lot of good examples on how to just, I want to boot an image with just like a QT application. There's like some really good complicated examples about a, a, uh, a home environment, uh, like, like a home automation environment, but I just want to boot one image. So there, there's not a lot of this. So there's bad documentation. And who here has seen a BSP that uses a 3.x kernel in the past year? Yeah. So we've seen a lot of this. Um, so I only have 20 minutes, but we've all seen a lot worse. Um, I asked on Twitter some of the things that people seen, and I was horrified. Um, these are the bane of my existence, and I weep silently at night um, having to deal with this. Really, this is comes down to until customers start complaining, till vendors are upstreaming, we are going to continue seeing this. Now, there are ways to do this right, and there are ways to do this wrong. And let me show you the wrong way to do this. Sorry, ADI. Um, <laughs> And honestly, there, there, there could be a very good reason for this, and I actually come into a good reason. So this is an analog devices vendor kernel. It's based on Xilinx. Sorry, uh, Bruce. Um, and they have a little fork of, fork of that, that repo into, in their GitHub. And this Linux kernel is a, is a repository for the Linux kernel for the Xilinx together with drivers and patches applied from analog devices. Instead of using source URI to apply patches, they're applying it into the, the Git repository. Now, from a Yocto project open embedded perspective, this is the wrong way of doing it, but there are very good reasons to do this. I'm sorry, don't kill me. Um, so if you're patching a vendor kernel in the Git repository instead of the project itself, this probably means that that vendor kernel is being used by different build systems and different processes out there. So whenever we see this, we kind of like, you know, my teeth start to itch and then I remember someone down the line is trying to get their job done and this is the solution that they came up with and while it may be a pain in the ass for me, um, this makes their life a little easier. So I don't really complain a lot about this, but there is some maintainer ick on different people's sides to do this. And I'm going to apologize to ADI again, but no one in the room wrote this, so I, I can talk about this. Um, there is a board I work on called the uh, uh, SC589. Um, cute little board, little DSP. Um, the original BSP was build root based BSP. So, okay, download it, I'll write a meta layer for this, not a big deal. Um, didn't compile with anything past, I think it was GCC4 or something like that. It was really old version of GCC. Um, the kernel source was interesting because they took a kernel version, removed some commits, added some additional things of theirs on top of it, and then RM'd the .git repo. So, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I spent a very long time with diff trying to figure out what the hell got done. Oh, and then version numbers got changed to special, special ADI version numbers. So it was like, okay, what git hashes? I, I have no idea. So um, this also was in U-boot as well. Um, so this was kind of a nightmare. Um, and then they fortunately released a uh, OE layer for this board, and I went, yay, I don't have to write the layer for this. Okay, um, I did blank out names. 
They're still patching in the repo instead of the layer. Okay, I understand. But it doesn't look like a vendor kernel. It's an actual, actual released kernel that, that they did yet. Um, so let's look at the U-Boot recipe. Okay, what's this U-Boot shark? Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, this made me cry. Does anyone see the problem here? <laughs> one commit, <laughs> one commit. Um, yes, there, there were two branches though. And how many commits did that other branch have? One commit. <laughs> um, yes, it, it, it was, I, I saw this and I went, what the fuck, guys? Why, why? Um, you, you know, honestly, I'm grateful for this because, you know, I, I do a lot of consulting and this is a lot of consulting hours to untangle this. So, yay, continue doing this. Um, but then let's look at the U-Boot recipe. Okay. There's three patches there. And what's that last thing here? They have... Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that face you just made. Um, they, they have put a binary blob in the layer of something that the source is available for that can be built and that if you use a different distro name, breaks. Because it's it's... ARM, Pocky, Linux, GNU, ABI, LDR, and if you need to do that. So my solution for this, which was, remember when I said the, 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 the horrible things we do to get our job done? Uh, my solution for this was not to go and do a recipe for the sources. I just renamed the file. <laughs> we, we do horrible shit to get through the day. Um, oh, there's some more pain here. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry guys, sorry. Um, why is extra image features in layer.conf and not in an image? Can anyone explain this to me? Because I sure don't know. I just assume they mix up BSP with demo. Okay. <laughs> that is the only explanation I have. Um, do, do you know if this layer is a machine BSP or a distro BSP? Because I sure don't. <laughs> I don't know. So honestly, we pull the, we have to pull this in. Yeah. But we have our own layer. Oh, yeah. I saw I saw your solution to that. The solution to this was they they do some magic to replace the layer dot conf entirely, and I'm just. I, I mean, bravo for the clever solution, but why? <laughs> um, and also, this branch, uh, okay, if you do BSPs and you release BSPs, look, I'm the former release engineer at the Octo Project, and like one of the things that I ask people to do, just follow the, the branching naming convention because when someone comes on to IRC or the mailing list says yes I'm using Yocto version 3.21 what is that I have no idea what that is I have no idea what that is um, so solutions Standards are great, everyone has their own, and the problem is, is that there is no real BSP standard because um, Yocto Project Compatible isn't a standard. We say it's a standard, but there's no enforcement. There is no, if you break this, you get removed from layers open embedded.com. Um, and normally I wouldn't care about this, but the problem is, is that when a vendor goes and ships crap, and someone who isn't necessarily familiar with OE goes and starts using crap, and then crap breaks, and then they go to the mailing list or IRC, and they say, open embedded is really, really hard, and it sucks, and blah, 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 because they are getting something from a vendor that's just inherently broken. So then we end up supporting this and end up wasting cycles when you know, I don't want to be doing that. I don't think anyone in this room wants to be doing that. Um, 
especially when the vendor should be doing this. Um, so layer index is part of the problem, and this is um, one, of, one of my uh, layers that I thought got removed but didn't get removed. Um, we, they, they, the Arduino folks released this neat little board, the Industrial 101, and we did a quick layer for it, threw it up in layer index, and I have, I got to admit, I booted that board once, and I haven't touched it since. Um, so that's been sitting there for two years, four months, and, you know, I don't know if anyone's downloaded. I don't know if anyone's used it. No one's tried committing anything or, or sending me a pull request. So, but it's sitting there taking up space and it's unmaintained. And um, one of the, we have the ability to see when the last time things were checked in, we need to start cleaning this up. So one of my suggestions is, is that we know when boards or when last commits go, start going through them. Um, we need to do something with whatever BSP standard we have now and actually do something to say, look, if your board hasn't been updated in four years, and it's not working with master or even the last release. I don't care about master. If it's not working with the last release, then we need to do something here. Um, we need a way for feedback to happen on layers so that we can put a layer into review and say, look, this layer kind of sucks. And, you know, we need to be able to, to say that your layer is in jeopardy of getting removed from layers.openembedded.org. Um, because, like, right now we're trying to go to board support vendors and go, please fix your layer, please fix your layer, please fix your layer. And they go, patch is welcome. And, well, no, 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 this is not how this works. Um, and when I do do patches, you know, I try to upstream them. Sometimes that upstreaming doesn't happen because they won't accept them or frankly, I'm annoyed. Um, and I'm just like, no, if you fix your own damn layer, I fixed it enough for me to get it through the day. Um, and if we're gonna call this a standard, then we need to call it certification. You know, if you are certified Yocto project compatible, then, you know, I have had certifications in different things, and every now and then I have had to go up for recertification. If your board get or your layer gets flagged, then, and if someone from the project looks at it and we go, yeah, here are some issues with it, you get a certain amount of time to fix those issues, and if those issues aren't fixed, off. Um, you know, we've used the carrot, and now I think it's time that we actually start discussing using the stick here, because I don't think that there, there is a way to get vendors to fix their BSPs unless there is an actual way to get their stuff not seen by the community anymore. Um, because I don't want to be supporting people's crap, and I don't think anyone else does. And I think that's it. So in terms of questions, so you don't want to take money from people to take the vendor VSP and turn it into something usable for them? I would love to take money to, and do that. But I would also like, I, I would rather spend my time developing other things. Yeah. I, um, I, I mean, I've given the same talk. Uh, I did a little lightning talk at a new radio conference once. It's like, please put me out of a job. Yeah, no, without a doubt. So I can do interesting things. Yeah, like, like, do you know how boring it is sitting there with Meld trying to go through the kernel, figuring out what the hell you did? And then seeing patches, and I'm like, ah, I know why you have a vendor kernel now, because there is no way this would make it into the kernel. No way. Um, there is code that I have seen that has gotten pushed into a vendor kernel that I'm like, why did you write this? Why did you do it? Like, I'm not even a kernel developer, and I can sit there and see that that's wrong. Um, and honestly, I hate working in the kernel. I, I'm an integrator. I like working, working, making silly demos and things like that. I want to make things. I don't want to sit there and go, yay, it boots. 
I assume you've also run into the problem that they get stuck on an old kernel and then you spend several days billing them to find a patch that fixes some bug that crept in because they changed the MCC parts. Yeah, uh, well. Um, <laughs> it's highly profitable work. Um, I, I, I'll... It's not LTS kernel, so forget that the last kernel patch was done six years ago. I'll give, I'll give an example. Um, there is a board that we're currently working on, and I'm not going to name the company. Um, is this shut off? <laughs> <laughs> um, Speak to the editor. Yeah. Um, it is a very old ARM chip. Um, it's like an LPC 32XX. Um, U boot support dropped like seven years ago, eight years ago. Um, but there's a firmware bug. Uh, they basically said, oh, what crystals? Are, uh, okay, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're going to use this clock. And that's wrong clock to use. So there's this weird bug that um, all the space that we need for U-boot isn't there. So now what we need to do is split it up and do an SPL so it does this. and. Um, part of the reason why this is, is the manufacturer just went, meh, we wrote U-Boot stuff for it. That's fine. And then never maintained it, and it sat there, and it bit rot, and then U-Boot switched around a lot of their architecture, and then I believe it was actually Tom uh, uh, Rennie went and said, yeah, delete, 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 delete. So all of that got pulled out so we have had to rewrite support for this chip in uboot and i'm glad that i don't have to touch uboot code i have someone who touches uboot code because i have had to touch uboot code and i'm just like uh weep 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 um so i would love to never ever ever have to touch kernel or uboot again Please put me out of job. Please, vendors, put me out of job. Two nice BSPs. So, what? Uh, how do you now get the tickets <coughs> layer compatible? You said there isn't a. Oh, so um, you go on the Octa Project website and you fill out a questionnaire, and then it gets shoved off somewhere, and you get a nice Octa Project compatible sticker. Um, I don't know the exact pro uh, process for getting on layers. I know that you fill out a form, it gets shoved up on layers, but I think someone actually, there's an actual human there that looks at things. Um, there's a script as well. There's a script, it's very ad uh, hoc, and I made a note to review this process. Yeah, like there's two processes here that need to get fixed. Yeah, layers is basically you submit it and it goes in. Right. And oh, really? I thought it went to a minute. <laughs> okay. So, regarding layers, there's two schools of thought. Is one, we want to make sure that we have a central place to look for them, because one of the problems you have is people duplicating layers. So, when you see a four-year-old, a layer of the last commit four years old, at least you know someone works on it and maybe you can clone it and fix it as opposed to forking it and having five layers with the last commit being four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, one year ago, and active. And that's one problem. Um, and then someone finds the five-year-old one and gets angry because they don't have yeah. a newer one. So there's an effort at centralizing the stuff in layers. And one of the constant conversations we have at developer meetings is like, do we have stars on layers? How do we rate layers? Yeah, no, I, I was actually thinking about having a rating system with comments where people can comment and say this layer is blah, 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 blah. So the only people that write comments are the angry people. <laughs> yeah. So the layers without comments are good. Yes. Or unused. Or on news. Well, then they get a comment. Uh, I wonder, has it ever been discussed to try to kind of create a collection of BSP layers into one single location? So you could go to layers and search on BSPs with no string, and I think it gives you a list. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So is like has there ever been a discussion of trying to create an effort to create a collection of layers of VSPs instead? That are, are tests of layering of VSPs. Uh, like so similar to meta open embedded, which you have like a collection of layers for recipes, uh, like for meta Python or whatever. But sort of try, try to create a single Git repository uh, to have a PSP layers. Uh, then at least you can have uh, one or two maintainers that can have eyes uh, on the PSP. Usually it's someone at the Silicon Valley yeah. that's doing the work. <laughs> Getting them to work None together. of the Silicon Valley layers will get in because we have. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, to, to yeah, test the layer, I mean, yeah, you can kind of just build yeah, test it, just but actually, you would have to test it on the hardware then itself. I so think our yeah. silicon can going to try. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Uh, but Merrick, you have yeah. your hand up. So I want to ask if there's some sort of a script which is like a check patch, check layer kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, and, and, and maybe that should be part of the layers open embedded.org. So the auto check layer is supposed to do some of these things. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I that for very I think that I have to look. Um, Man, you know, I do a few of the. Okay, sure. Resimplification it is a good thing, but it's something like which should became a part of release cycle. Like you, we are in the half of release cycle, <laughs> so now we run a CI job which will go layer by layer, and if any layer yeah. doesn't pass, it's marked as fix it or it will get drop. Period. Be the, uh, be the nasty asshole, and then you will have layers which will be marked as not working with this release, this release, this release, and this release, right? You still have it in index, but you have info. This is really old, deprecated layer, no one works on it, but if you want to, if you need it, it's here. So I'm going to assign you the task of writing this process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have machines for this CI? Well, that's right. For, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's the thing, right? Like, like even Yocto Auto Builder, which it was, over. yeah, that would fall over. Um, like, it's, the, it's the only way. You, you either accept everything as it is, which is now, yeah. and you just keep keep those rotting things, well, right? Hmm. Or you'll be the, yeah. sorry guys, I am pure asshole. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I want, well, no. if you want to keep in a stuff, in it works, you just do build automation, no and no manual work, so no one will tell, oh, if you do this small tweaks, it will build. It's not in the layer, it doesn't build, it gets marked as uh, not working with zeros or whatever the real is, right? So the only thing you can test is that it has no impact. So the video layer, if you add it, should have no impact on your actual work. And that's your okay. activated distribution. If I test BSP layer, yeah. BSP layer adds machines, yeah. right? Yeah, I, yeah. I take this machine, I run a standard set of builds for with this machine. Right? I build minimal image, I build some UI image, I don't care if it doesn't have display or not. Right? I build the standard set of targets with machines from with machine from BSP. Right? So why if it doesn't if it doesn't build to check is this layer yeah, this BSP yeah, is still compatible I mean, with the release I want to release. If it doesn't build yeah, yeah, started a riot. Moving on, moving on. We have a long time at lunch to talk about these things, and I'm really, really interested in ways of actually implementing some of these things because I don't think like there's a lot of people who do it. Sure. I mean, the, this is this is a Martin. This is the problem. I, 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 I,
who's going to do it? Who's going to pay for it? Right. That that's really what it comes down to. Um, and also, I can guarantee you that the the uh, vendors are going to just clench up because you're dictating the release process. And you know how you know how release engineers get with release process. You know because it, because the, the, and and. I don't necessarily think it's a bad idea, but there's questions I have about who's going to pay for it when, you know, people tend not to like to pay for things. So there was already a big discussion on the architecture list about trying to change some of the stuff around the later in that, and it kind yeah. of tailed off. So there yeah, are, there, are these are discussions we have. I'll get out of your way. Uh, <laughs> 